In this video, we'll factor the equation x squared minus x minus 42 equals zero. And we'll use these steps here to help us. The first step is we want to set up a skeleton equation. That'll look like this. Next, we're going to add the signs in to our skeleton equation. We see in the equation up here, we have a minus and a minus. If we have two negative signs, both terms are negative, we'll use this format where we have a positive and a negative sign inside the parentheses. So let's put a positive and a negative sign here. Now that we have the signs, we'll find the factors for the last term for this negative 42. And those factors, they should add up to the middle term, minus 1x. For 42, there are four different factors we need to consider. But when we look at these, it's pretty apparent that 7 and 6, 7 times 6, that would give us 42. And if the 7 were negative, that would give us a negative 42, like up here. And we add these together, negative 7 and 6, that gives us the negative 1. So we're going to put negative 7 and then a 6 here. And we can check this to see if it's correct using the FOIL method. First terms, then the outside, minus 7x, inside, plus 6x, 6 times minus 7 for the last term equals 0. And let's add these together. Minus 7x plus 6x, that's minus x. So x squared minus x minus 42. Up here, x squared minus x minus 42. So we've done this correctly. Now we should figure out what numbers we can put in for x here that'll make this equation equal to 0, make this a true statement. Let's do that. I could say x plus 6 equals 0, and then subtract 6 from both sides, and I'd get x equals minus 6. Over here, I could say x minus 7 equals 0, add 7 to both sides, x would equal 7. If I put minus 6 in for x here, and I did the math, all of this would equal 0. Likewise, I could put 7 in for x, do the math, all of this will equal 0. So these are the solutions for this equation. This is Dr. B factoring the equation x squared minus x minus 42 equals 0. Thanks for watching.